White Nashers, okay, that's what we're talking about. <laughs> Well, it is. Nashers. That's Your true. big old Nashers. Yes, OK. I think, I think you know, when you used to talk about teeth whitening, people say, oh, it's only the Americans do all that. Now yeah. you see when people don't get it done, it sort of stands out that you haven't got it done. Anyway, Dr Guy Barwell, he is here now. He's like top man in the country for this sort of thing. And everybody were bombarded by adverts about, um, for instance, toothpaste, yeah. first of all. Does it work? Whitening paste. Whitening paste. It certainly works. It's certainly going to improve the cleaning of your teeth. They're adding new chemicals and things into the toothpaste that are going to help, but it's not looking at the same sort of whitening as you're talking about where you're going to whiten the intrinsic part of the tooth itself. So is this taking just, you know, like coffee stains and exactly, tea stains exactly. and wine, red It's going wine. to improve and help and improve some of the colour, you know, by getting rid of those stains, but you're not going to get that next level. And is there anything in particular, Guy, when, because there's so many toothpaste now, safe yes, whitening, is there yes. anything in particular that we should look out for? Really, it's just making sure that it's a toothpaste with fluoride in it. Fluoride. You know, fluoride's yeah. a big benefit to help strengthen the teeth. Some of the whitening toothpaste try to avoid having fluoride, and that just seems a bit of a pity with it, mm. when we know that's one but of the... But you're not going to see a drastic difference, no. are you? No, no, no. If you've got stained teeth, it's going to improve a little bit. Yeah. So, Which yeah. brings us then to mouthwash. Yeah, so a lot of them say, well, the new ones now are saying whitening mouthwash, but they didn't say yes, before yeah. it was all about fresh breath. Now it's about whitening as well. It's a different type of marketing. People wanting whitening these mm. days. Um, and yes, again, it's probably going to add a little bit of benefit by lifting some of the stains. But compared to toothpastes, where you've actually got the abrasive nature, where they actually clean off the stains as well. Yeah, it seems hard to believe that just slushing that round your not mouth is going deal. to lift no, stains. It's not going to do a great deal. It's going to be a little bit of added benefit. But for me, if patients would, rather, would be better to spend an extra minute or so brushing their teeth than jumping onto a mouthwash. Which now, charcoal, I'm fascinated yes. by charcoal <laughs> um, toothpaste because I've seen these demonstrated and they look awful. Yes, it's not um, a great... Do, uh, does it great. work? And what is it about charcoal that suddenly burst onto the scene? And, so you've and got to make your teeth black, black first to be white. That's the idea. Which, if you think about it, you're going to put a lot of black stuff on your teeth, look in the mirror, when you clean them off, they're going to look a lot whiter straight away after, so I suspect that's part of it. But why has everybody jumped on this charcoal bandwagon? Where did this suddenly come from and why? Um, I think charcoal is just a natural ingredient. Yeah. It's slightly abrasive. It's going to, again, be able to improve the cleaning of your teeth, but it's not going to get rid of the intrinsic colour okay. once again. It's going to improve some of the staining. So it's not um, bad. I mean, you know, if you compare bad. that no. to the whitening toothpaste, it's doing the same job, really. It's probably doing much the same job, but as long as it's got fluoride in it. And some of them have got other chemicals, such as hydroxyapatite, which will also help strengthen the teeth. Yeah. But one of the big issues with this is because you're going to sit there with black teeth in front of the mirror, you're going to continue to scrub away and polish, uh, scrub away and wash your mouth out to get rid of all the... Uh, benefit yeah. of having the fluoride to get rid of it and yeah. you know the idea is not to no. rinse your mouth Is it a bit of an optical illusion then because you put so. black on yes. your teeth yeah. then as soon as you rinse it off you think your teeth it looks look better. better It looks yeah. better. Yeah, okay. so. Well now we want to get to the area that probably does if, it's, if you stand a chance of making a difference uh, the idea okay. of guards, mouth guards and whitening strips. Strip. Talk us through those. So the mouth guards are the sort of very small um, Pretty made sort of preformed things that people put in their mouths. So, so these are shop bought. I mean, yes. these aren't made for you. No, are these they? are not made for you. So you buy them in a packet and yeah. you wear them for a few minutes or half an hour or so, with the idea that they will lighten the teeth with the chemicals that are involved. Uh, uh, in and them. this That's already has the know. whitener in there yes. already, right? Okay. The, uh, the uh -huh. problem with that is whether it's going to fit your mouth, and it's certainly not going to cover all of the teeth. It so. wouldn't fit Ruth's mouth. <laughs> wouldn't fit my teeth. Um, and again, there are. You can. <laughs> You can see that doesn't reach the top. But that looks good on me. Look, from that distance... Hi. <laughs> I look like Philip Schofield. I don't know. <laughs> so that, that gel inside there, you buy it like that, and how yes. often do you have to wear that? Uh, you wear it for a couple of weeks with the idea that it's going light, to lighten the teeth bit by bit. Um, the problem with these, there's now some research out there suggesting that the components that's in there may actually be detrimental to the enamel and soften the enamel, so you might be doing more harm. Oh, than OK. And then what about um, white... I don't really understand whitening strips, whitening strips. and how they work. Um, <laughs> this is a whole new me. <laughs> <laughs> the ring of confidence. Yes, yeah, um, quite. Why, so explain the, whitening strips. The whitening strips, really you actually put know. them on the front of the teeth and try and get them in between the teeth, but again, they're going to be so difficult what, like, to apply. Is, what is that? You just, you like peel, that? Yeah, you, you peel them off the backing, and again, they've right, got so a very peel... light... Oh, hang on. Oh, I see. So you peel that off. 
Yeah. And you stick that, and you stick on, that your on the teeth with that, the idea that, that they, on your teeth. I don't want it on they my will, teeth. They, they will slowly lighten bit by bit. Right. So how long would you have to have that strip on your half teeth? Half an hour or so. Okay. Hour or so. And what do you think of those? Um, they've probably got a little bit of added benefit, but would you again, stop? compared to tooth brushing, do you yeah. fancy um, me like this? No. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, and also, they're going to be difficult to apply, so you're not going to get them in between the teeth, which so is where not, the stems are. You're not are. a fan. Not they're a fan they're going to help a little bit, but they're, def they're not okay. going to be a huge, um, a huge benefit. So, some home remedies. Yes. Uh, baking powder, we hear a lot about. A lot of yep. toothpaste have baking I do. It's been around powder. for donkey's years in toothpaste. Uh, it works quite nicely, again, as a, as a light abrasive. But is there any benefit in making up a sort of poultice yourself to brushing and scrubbing, it's you you're better just, just to buy the paste. toothpaste. OK, and then this is apple cider That's vinegar. vinegar, which is a huge no-no, because yeah. we spend our lives trying to reduce the amount of acid okay. in patients' mouths. Um, we know there's a lot of problems with these um, sugary drinks and acidic drinks. If you're holding mm. a vinegar in your mouth, then yeah. it's going to be a huge problem. And then just very quickly, this is yep. how I whiten my teeth. Years ago, I had, yes. I had the treatment done at my dentist, at dentist. And then they make you a bleaching these, tray. These little mouth guards yeah, that you so actually you pull that wear. Off. So you have to have that horrible thing in your mouth with all the pink stuff, and then they make you this little bleaching tray. And then you wear it the with exact some shape of your teeth. So you said, unlike the shop bought over yes. the counter one. This fits your teeth exactly. Yes, precisely. And then this is the bit that you are concerned about people buying on the internet. This is the, yes. This is the, the bleaching gel. Why are you concerned about that? Well, the problem is if people are starting to use these other mm -hmm. things to try and whiten their teeth and they don't find them successful and mm -hmm. they start then seeking out stronger chemicals that you can buy you. over the internet, if, you're then going to start doing harm. If it's and things, it doesn't... It's, it's, it's not going to... I feel like Les idea. Patterson. <laughs> oh, you're spitting like Les Patterson <laughs> at the moment. Um, so if you're going to do the, this, the whitening treatment yes. at the dentist, then you buy the gel from the dentist because it doesn't have they like supply, high yeah, peroxide. Yeah. There's a maximum amount we're allowed to use in the UK, but if yeah. you look on the internet, you can buy yeah. several times that. So don't buy it on the internet. It's, it's just a much bigger risk. If yeah, because it's the hydroperoxide. Hydrogen peroxide, yeah. 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 That's, that's OK. Um, so really, you think this is... Oh, sorry. This is expensive, but you believe yeah. that this is the best it's, way if you well, really want that kind of celebrity white Nothing's look. entirely predictable, but mm. of all of these things, this is going to be the most predictable yeah. outcome. If you but want to look everybody. like me, that's the way to do it. <laughs> Guy, thank you thank very God. much. All right, you're welcome. Oh, thank right. you. <laughs>